Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. And guess what? We got our second midterm. So I don't know when I'm putting the other video up, but basically I'm making another video about pharmacy school. And I talk about this, but basically there's always a test coming up. I like literally every week or every two weeks. And this is where one of the weeks where I have a test tomorrow. And then I have a quiz uh, next week and I have um, midterm on Wednesday and then a quiz on Monday. And I also have work during the week. So we're gonna have a really busy week this week, but I'm gonna take us with me the entire time and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it's like. And basically we're gonna be doing uh, a lot of studying. So I'm gonna show you guys one of the cool things I bought recently. It's basically this thing right here. I can just pick it up. It's a little like a uh, child lock case thing. And you just set it for when you wanna do like homework and stuff like that, you put your phone in there and you basically study. So I'm basically gonna just do that real quickly. But first I wanna just like, cause I have a lot of anxiety right now, I just wanna show you guys like, some manage your anxiety because you have literally every test every single week. So I'm just gonna take a little breather real quick. All right, get it popping. Two hour study session real quickly. Then tomorrow we're gonna study some more for our test tomorrow. Let's get it. Okay, so we just finished up our midterm and basically I passed the course. But I'm gonna make a video very soon showing off my entire work uh, study routine basically for taking tests in pharmacy school. I should make that video pretty soon honestly because I've been slacking on that video and I really wanna help you guys out. There's a lot of people that follow this channel, follow my study routine or they watch my day in the life video. So that video is gonna be coming out soon. And I'm gonna go over everything that I do for studying in pharmacy school and like going over classes and stuff like that because I used to be like a really, really good student. Then I went like, I stopped caring about studying. Then I went back up to being a decent student again. So I wanna share some tips that I learned from pharmacy school because I feel like with the amount of information you get is like way, way too much. So I'm gonna like streamline most of the information that you don't need to know. But right now we're gonna be heading over to um, get some food because my fridge is literally empty. So like basically what I'm gonna do right now is just I'm gonna just travel right now to the grocery store and we're gonna get some stuff. And I'm basically gonna show you guys some of the tricks I use. I have an old video I posted before about bulking. And basically I'm gonna show everything I'm using to bulk because I'm gonna try to bulk up again. Um, even though I'm not really um, working out at the gym too much, I'm gonna be doing a very, very slow bulk this time. And that's pretty much it. So I'll take you guys to the gym, uh, store with me real quickly. And I'm gonna come back here and show you guys the main tips I have for that. Okay, so we just came back to the grocery store. I'm just gonna share with you guys exactly what I get because uh, I am bulking now. So I wanna give you some tips out because a lot of people have been asking me some tips about uh, bulking, which is like just basically eating more calories. So what I do a lot of times is I basically just stack up on like carbs. So I have mostly just like a lot of bread 
And if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that, um, or anything that I post up, um, every single one of my videos, my breakfast is literally with tortillas. So everything is always with tortillas. So I literally bought a, like a sick amount of tortillas. And the rest of it, honestly, is just meat. And basically just getting uh, veggies, meat, and eggs, honestly. I just get the main essentials, honestly, because that costs like around like, uh, with all that together, that costs, I think, this time around 50 to $60. And you literally, I just got like these tortillas. This is a stack of like, uh, let's see, 12 count. Two for three dollars, just a stack of tortillas. And then some more tortillas right here. So that's literally what I get most of the time because that's like the easy way to get uh, calories up because it's so easy to eat and it's so easy to make, especially for college students. So like for me, it's just way too easy. And then that with rice. So I just use that and then rice because both of them are like super fast metabolizing. So that allows you to eat a lot more food way faster. So like I just eat that constantly every single day to get the most calories possible. And it's really, really good with most foods like like especially when you eat like uh halal food this uh, pita bread is basically that too so like even meals where i don't have uh tacos i would just literally just add that with it anyway just because it makes it a lot better so yeah and then secondly my second favorite tip besides getting protein powder i love eating yogurt yogurt is another great meal to eat because literally like every single time yogurt is like 10 to 12 grams of protein and that makes it so much easier to get your protein goals very, very easily. Plus to get that just enzymes, which also helps you with uh, eating more food. Because a lot of people, when they eat more food, their stomach isn't really uh, agree with them. So that also helps out a lot because you get the protein and you get the enzymes to help you eat up the food. And then last but not least is the peanut butter because the high in fat and the fact that it's um, high in protein is super good because calories and protein together. That's literally the cheat code. That and then the oats, once you make the yeah, And then you get the bananas with it, and it's automatically wrapped. So like you get the oats, bananas, and the peanut butter, it's automatically wrapped. So like you can pretty much bulk up on anything when you have those three combinations. It's ridiculous. So that's pretty much the main thing. So I wanna get into my station coming up soon. So let's get into it. This is the peanut butter, the peanut butter combination with the oats and the um, banana. Make the perfect combination for bulking. And with the rice and the uh, tortilla bread, it's literally a game over for me. That's pretty much all I need, honestly. And now with eggs, that's pretty much all you need. Secondly, I like to, I love eating uh, uh, yogurt just because of the fact that you get the digestive enzymes so you can like um, metabolize more protein and basically just helps you just overall digest more food since you get the enzymes and you get 10 grams of protein very easy. And I feel like, you know, honestly, everything else, like just the regular stuff, with the protein, the um, rice, and then the vegetables, everything else is the same. But those are my three hats right here. The uh, main thing I use basically is just those things. Because I usually have a thousand calorie shake, which I made a couple years ago in an old video I made. Basically, I just do that, and that's pretty much all I do. So I usually eat like three or four meals, and then I have a thousand calorie protein shake with the peanut butter, oats banana and protein powder and that's pretty much all you need to gain weight from me if you want to get more weight than that you like i said before you can eat a lot more uh fast metabolizing carbs which are like the rice and the tortilla bread which i literally add to most meals it makes it super easy to just gain calories super quickly and that's pretty much it i don't feel full at all when i eat those so yeah so now i want to get right into the studying part of this video and because i have another exam coming up of course and we also have work this weekend, so I'm gonna have to get ready for that. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I just had dinner, and I'm super full, honestly. Uh, it's currently around like almost nine o'clock, but I really have to study this material because I want to make sure I'm caught up. So I'm probably just gonna go through hopefully one to two lectures tonight before I have work tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, last thing I just want to say real quickly that um, next video is going to be talking about what it's like really um, in pharmacy school, daily schedule, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're just going to finish this last little subjects, and we're going to get out of here and go to sleep for tomorrow for work. 
The grind is not stopped. So I can't either. Catch you guys next vlog. Peace out. Bye. So before we get into studying, I just want to show you guys real quickly what it's like when you're a science slash like medicine major. Like, look at this. Like, I have like, this is, I'm right here on my slide like 56, I think. I feel a focus. And then in class today, he wants me to basically go over uh, up to slide. Hundred and fifteen. So that was like one day of class, and basically that's going to be my entire class, and the entire lecture by itself is one hundred and fifteen slides so far. So I'm going to have to go through all this tonight, and then I have to go through um, some more lecture slides tonight as well, just to catch up because I skipped two classes. So. I'm gonna give you guys a total right now. Give me one second. Okay, so I just put up all the slides for the next other lectures that I missed. And I'm gonna have to watch the recordings, which are gonna be about two hours each. So there's two recordings, so that's four hours total. Um, yeah, that's gonna be rough. Um, probably put it on 1.5 speed, so hopefully I can be around three hours to maybe like two and a half, if we can like budget it a little bit. So I'll show you guys real quickly the Hamas slides. So this is lecture 14. Number seven is gonna be 14 slides. The next one is 12 slides. The next one is 28. And the last one is 24. So basically what you have to do is like, I go through the material and then I make the questions by itself separately. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot of work, but I think right now I'm just gonna go over the topics, make sure I understand everything, and then summarize everything so that way I can just do that for tomorrow. I can just crank out questions for myself, um, just cause I'm also gonna work, so it's a lot easier when I go to work to have some questions done for me, so I can go to train, do some questions, and go over some material um, over the course of the semester. So yeah, that's gonna be the plan for tonight. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye. Okay, and the last tip before I get into the study session. When you're studying, the best way I've done it for the last like um, couple of days, which has been really, really enjoyable, honestly, is you gotta get your, your cup of tea. You gotta get the uh, iPad set up. The, uh, notes on the screen and then the candle lit That just makes it way more enjoyable and also get your water on the sides because you gotta drink water constantly And then lastly, we're just gonna put the phone into the case For a good uh, hour or two and play some good jams in the corner. Some nice little slow uh, Studying jams and then you know, trust me. It's gonna make the whole setup way better way more enjoyable and yeah